A word of the day. A word of the day comes from John 17, 17. And it says, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. Amen. Sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. We know that Jesus is the word. He is the truth. He is the truth, the way, the life. He is, he is the way, the truth, and the life. He, um, he has set us all apart. To sanctify is, is to set it apart. He has set this church apart. All of us, this is our church this morning. We come together to give God honor and glory and praise. We all come in agreement. We're all in the same accord as we just lift him up today. And this is the Sabbath day of rest. The day that we surrender every, all our troubles, all our pains, all our issues, we just totally and completely rest in the Lord. As the first said, not doing our own thing, not doing our own will, not saying our own world, but as we are being sanctified by him, set apart in him. John 17, verses 17 and 19, and it says, sanctify them by your truth. Your word is truth. As you set as you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. We are here in the world to do God's will. He has sent us. He has sanctified us. He has given us his word that we may be equipped to talk to those about him and help them bring them closer to him. It says, and for their saints, I sanctified myself that they also may be sanctified by the truth. Praise the Lord. No greater example than our Lord Jesus Christ. He showed us the way. He's given us his word, his truth. He's told us his promises. So we should be following his truth. Amen. In 2 Samuel verse 7, uh, chapter 7, verse 28, it says, And now, O Lord God, you are God, and your words are true. And you have promised this goodness to your saints. Amen. We know that there are rewards with following the Lord. He blesses us. He guides us. He tells us. He speaks to us. His promises, the promises that he, he's given throughout history to Jacob, Isaac, and Abraham. They are still the same today. His word never fails and his ne void, words never become void. They are true today, yesterday, and forever because they're his word. And we are sanctified by that very truth in him. In John 15 verses three and four, it says, you are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you unless you abide in me. Praise the Lord. Birds are just telling us, we know we have sorrows, we have burdens, we have issues, we have all these things going on. But the Lord is just keeps telling us to just stick with him, just abide in him. Things will get better. He's going to do a mighty work in each and every one of us. It's coming. As the world falls apart, we will be blessed. We will be okay because we are his. Praise the Lord for that. In John 8, 32, it says, and you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Amen. We will have that freedom, that peace that surpasses all understanding and being with our Lord Jesus Christ and his truth and continue to have us walk in his faith, 
to walk in faith, to walk in his love, and to do his will. Praise the Lord for that. Father, we just thank you for this word. We know we are sanctified by your truth and that you have to continue to just write these things in the tablets of our hearts, that you continue to bless each and every one of us. This is your church, Lord. Every morning we are here to give you honor, glory, and praise, and we do. We lift up our prayers to you, and we give you thanks. So, Lord, we know that today is the Sabbath day of rest. Help us all rest in you today. Help us to just lay our burdens and our problems and our issues and, and our pains and everything unto you today. And we surrender them all to you. And we know that you will bless us. You will guide us and be with us today. Give us your peace today. Give us your love and your mercy and your grace today. Help us to do your will today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace today. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.